This is just the most desperate district I've seen in my whole life, I think. Everything's closed. We pursue him, we're working. That is low, Danny, come on. Hello guys and welcome from another day in kind of sunny Dnipro. Behind me I've got one of the famous Dnipropetrovsk rockets. Dnipro was called Dnipropetrovsk back in the Soviet Union and it was a famous place for making rockets. Dnipro, or back then, was a closed city so it was very hard to get access to here. I would have not been allowed to come here. Uh, up until 30 years ago as a Westerner and even for most Ukrainians and Soviets access to this city was very hard. One of many closed cities in the Soviet Union not allowing access for reasons of secrecy. Unfortunately due to the war there's no chance of me getting close to the rocket making factory the facilities although something just as old and maybe almost as interesting is the world's shortest probably most pointless metro you ask people in Kharkiv how many times have you been on the metro they'll say thousands in Dnipro most people I've spoken to have said they've never even used it so we're gonna go there now check it out see what the fuss is all about see what makes this metro just so pointless and hopefully see a couple of cool places on the way Let's go. The reason why the metro is so bad, in many people's opinion, is because it literally goes nowhere. As you will see, nobody gets on on these stations. Nobody gets off on these stations. Nobody really needs these stations. Industries dried up a long time ago. So it's basically a metro from nowhere to nowhere. So back in 1980, there were big, big plans for the Dnipro metro, as we can see on this map here. They had four lines planned, both left bank, right bank, over the Dnipro River. The plan was huge, 40 years later. It's interesting to see how the metro still only consists of six stations, of which only five actually work. Some people blame corruption, some people blame the war, some people even blame Dnipro not getting a Euro 2012 host city status as one of the reasons why the money didn't come in from the central government to finish this bloody metro. And finally, with the war being pretty close to Dnipro, it's the last big city in Ukraine before both front lines, which are actually part of the same front line. There seems to be pretty little chance of building continuing on these metro stations anytime soon, especially whilst the war is going on. And when you ask people in Dnipro if they think any other metro stations will ever, will ever open, they say, yeah, yeah, of course, they're going to open. Of course they are. Keep the faith, Danny. Just not in my lifetime. Можно, пожалуйста, маленький стаканчик кваса, еще и хачапоры, и все. But here, guys, a kvass. It's a very famous drink in Ukraine. Beautiful in summer. It's basically fermented bread, I believe. It's a drink. Very, very nice. Guys, I'm here now at the first station. The Metro Babushkas, as Bold calls them, are always on the lookout for somebody filming on the Metro. They don't like it. Wow, this place is dead. Go 
going down. One ride on this metro costs about 10 pence. Metallurgical station now. See what's here. Oh, this whole system of metro is just so quiet and kind of pointless. It's got five metro stations. What's the point? Hey, this district is just like Scunthorpe actually. There's a huge, huge metal works. I'm not going to film it because it's illegal to film that kind of stuff. Wow, this is what they call a Jopa Mira, this district. Absolutely nothing here. Wow. Found here a cafe bar, if it's still open. Don't hold much hope, to be honest. If I can cross this bloody street. Закрыто, да, этот? Закрыты? А. Ага. Ладно, дальше, да? Ага, класс. Ага. Спасибо. Wow, I guess that's the difference between Dnipro and Kharkiv. So in Kharkiv you get two, literally two metro stations out the centre. And it's still some very nice high-rise districts. This district is probably one of the worst districts I've ever seen in Ukraine. Everything's closed down. I don't even think it's because of the war. I think it's just been abandoned. Maybe the metalworks has closed down. I don't know. Something over here, let's see. Wow, this bus station. I mean, this district looks like it's had about 10 years of war. Muy pratsuyem, we're working. Oh. Wow, that's close too. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna get a beer and sit at this abandoned bus stop and drink one of Dnipro's worst beers in this God forbidden district, but unfortunately everywhere's closed. The whole place is packed up shop, totally. Okay, that's me done. I give up. This district is just I think this district has died a long, long time ago. Even before the war and i imagine the plant stopped working and this is just the most desperate district i've seen in my whole life i think everything's closed 
things boarded up. I don't know if it's because of the war or just because of it being neglected. Well, get me back to the metro. Oh, get me out of here. Even the pubs are closed here. Even the cafe bars. That's when you know it's bad. Normally people turn to booze in these kind of places. If people aren't even turning to booze, it must be bad. bullet hole in the door of this station and the windows all boarded up. Anyway, on to the next district. Hopefully it's a bit better. That was a disaster of a district to tell you what was. Almost. So I've been waiting here now five minutes. I don't know how often they run. I imagine not so often. We'll see. One's coming now, but it's the other direction. Actually, it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. There's life here, at least. That's the main thing. Yeah, it seems a bit more civilized, this district, than the last one. But still, nowhere to get a bloody beer. All I want is a good, local Dnipro beer in Dnipro on a park bench or somewhere. Anything wrong with that? Found a place over here called Beer Boom. Let's go check it out. Find this boom, boom, boom. What's up? It's not a Ой, не по О, может это бланч. Не да, бланч или мексиканец. Мексиканец Ага, ваш бланч это похоже на Кроненбург? Нет. Бланч, не? Ну, вот лекарство. Да, попробую, да, бланч. Один литр. So I was told yesterday by a good friend of mine, who we were with, and student Евгений, Женя, that I need to start finding more trash content. I'm too, maybe clean, too by the book. What trashier thing to do than go out on the world's worst metro to the final district, get a liter of local beer and sit in a kid's park in the middle of a spiny rayon and have a beer in Eastern Ukraine, of course. So I think that's about as badass as it gets in terms of travel vloggers drinking in a kid's play area that is low Danny come on let's give it a go this big bottle set me back about one pound ten pence oh beautiful nice like a lager with, with a bit of a lemony taste nice delicate beautiful Budmo. Okay, that beer went down well, guys. Having a walk now to find a, what's meant to be a good viewpoint out in this district, but I don't know. Looks like I'm walking into the middle of nowhere, to be honest. Ukraine is a land of unlimited adventures. Everything you do is an adventure. You never know where you're going, what's gonna be there. Always fun. Got a Ukrainian rapper here. Vlad. Vlad. 
TikTok не хочу пропускати те, що я читаю, а я читаю за країну орків у Сирай, бо моя мама просиділа 8 днів в підвалі, мою хату розбомбила, як перші невдалі. Тепер китайці запанують, не дають сказати правду, вони не скажуть правду, кажуть обувати. Бо така моя поема, як партизанський стиль, низанський стиль, пучанський. Я бачу, ви зрозуміли. Йоу! Some kids, by the way, they uh, came up to me and they said, oh, can you, uh, do you have any, like, small money you can give us? And we'll sing you a rap and you can film it. So I didn't just go up to them and force them to uh, rap to me. So I found here a pretty cool little lake, part of the river. Another city beach, people chilling here and drinking here. Oh, I found my own little beach here, not bad. Everyone's crammed on the beach down there. This is a nice little beach. Water's not the cleanest. The beach isn't really a beach. It's some mud, but you know, can't be too fussy these days in eastern Ukraine. You've got to take what you can. I'm going to finish the beer off here. I'm wrapping myself here also. So in which case, guys, my SD card is going to run out soon. I'm gutted. I always make the same mistake. I'm going to call the clip a day there. Short but sweet video today. I'm gonna chill here, finish the beer, eat some CMK. So yeah guys, from the banks of the Dnieper of the Dnipro River, we'll call it a day there. And see you guys again bright and early tomorrow. Ciao for now. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate the not clickbait. Appreciate the trash content. Boom. That is low, Danny, come on.